good evening everyone good evening kids how are you all i hope all are doing good are you are you guys ready for one more fun class welcome you all to viva skill camp organized by viva education we are going to have a amazing school science who experiments class today stem experiments and robotics class with jyoti ma'am she'll be teaching us a cool science experiments today so are you guys all ready can you give a thumbs up in the reactions can you give a thumbs up let me see how many of you are ready wow so many great so acha let me know how many of you are joining first time let's see uh, we have two teams team 1 is who is joining first for first time and team 2 is who is joining the second time tab comments mein likho one agar aap first time join kar rahe ho or otherwise write two wow great many of you are joining second time nice very nice hope you all had fun in the, on monday's class all right let's welcome jyoti ma'am she'll be teaching us a cool experiments uh for everyday science stem experiments and a little bit about robotics jyoti ma'am over to you please hello everyone hi okay So class C, my name is Jyoti, and I'm here to like show you different science experiments today, right? So you all will be performing with me. So here, like I am introducing you about the STEM. So what is being by STEM? Like what we are doing here, and uh, like we are going to do, uh, like you, like you know, like many kinds of the different science fun experiments with us. Clear? Yeah. So I hope you all are with the materials with you. you all have to show me thumbs up right nobody will unmute themselves like my my at uh, like my every call my at every call you all have to show me thumbs up clear so you have to interact as much as possible class if any query and if you want to answer any of the question of mina you have the comment box with you clear class and you have to comment there your answers your queries whatever it be clear clear everyone okay Jyoti, so sorry class, to do you know sorry to intervene i just want to announce one more thing everyone knows about the rules right we are going to announce two winners who are going to interact the most right they'll be getting a surprise gift from us and also 50 students who are going to interact the more will most will get participant uh, champion of science certificate signed by jyoti ma'am so all, all of you are ready we will be tracking your interactions all of you are ready class done kids ready set set go nice okay so class uh, do you know like what is meant by stem any idea about it any any like any one of you have any ab idea about or you can say do you know the full form of this stem class you all can answer in your comment box what is stem s t e m stem okay i am seeing the answers here that everybody is saying here no 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 it's a part of a plan it's related to something science okay are you sure that whatever we are talking here today that is about stem so we are are we talking about the part of the plant tell me tell me are we talking about the part of the plant see in a like in a very simple term if i if i ask anybody like what is stem if i ask my mother if i ask my father if you ask your father or your mother about like what is stem so everybody will answer in a very simple way that stem is generally a part of the plant isn't it on which fruits and the leaves are actually grown up yes that's the stem okay but you know as we are growing up as we are nurturing uh, like ourselves into a very good environment as we are moving towards the technology and as we are you know very much future perspective now so we actually you know taking ourselves to more into the technology part isn't it yes we are taking ourselves more into the uh, like more into the technology part 
So class, I just want to introduce you a term that is STEM. STEM is something S for science, T for technology, or E for engineering, and M for mathematics, right? So that is your what? STEM. So means you have to write in the capital letters that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Clear? which actually takes you a kind of an environment where you do hands-on experiment, where you actually relate everything with the real-life applications, with the real-life applications, clear? If I talk about kids, have you ever wondered like uh, what will happen like if you got a, a, like any kind of a turmeric or you can say when you spill your food on your white shirt, have you ever wondered like what your like uh, any any kind of the answer like what will happen how your mother will actually wash that surface any idea like how that yellow color of the food get disappear any idea just answer please fast let's see who will answer first okay uh, by giving detergent bleach surfexel oh nice vinegar in sun washing powder Okay, Ala, I'm actually getting very nice answers here. Vinegar, baking soda, very this is good. Mummy's mother... at work, I think. <laughs> mummy's at work. <laughs> okay, so class, like kids, like what I have introduced you, like you know, like STEM is something which actually you know relates your queries, which actually takes your mind, or which engage uh, like you all now, nah, or you know, like to us also. To the real life applications right so i have asked you a very simple question that uh, you all wear white shirts in the school isn't it yes thumbs up you all wear white shirts sometimes like what i have told you earlier also that sometimes like while eating now you may spill food on your shirts then your mother say oh ye kya kar diya? Kaise wash hoga? yellow color ho jayega. then kya hota hai fir? then what will happen Mothers use detergents, mother use lemon, mother use vinegar to get it clean. Okay. But you know, if I, if I uh, like ask you or like uh, about the science behind it, like what is the science behind it? How that yellow color will get disappear? Any idea? Because of the use of a very good kind of the detergent? Yes, that's the answer only. Because of the use of very good kind of detergent but you know detergent is a kind of a base detergent is a kind of a base right so but when you add like along with the detergent the vinegar on it now the reaction get neutralized okay and that will help your dirt to get removed so whenever we add any kind of an acid or a base together the reaction will get neutralized so, the acid here is what? That vinegar we are using. Okay? And the detergent is a kind of a base. So, you all try at your home now after the class. After putting yellow, I mean, sir, like after putting the haldi on any kind of the surface, surface and then apply detergent on it now, the mark will get, you know, red in color. Because detergent is a kind of a base. But when you add vinegar, or lime juice on it na, the mark get disappeared. Okay, so that's the science behind it. That's why our mothers generally use vinegar and lemon to clean that yellow uh, patch on your white shirts. Clear to all? Clear? Show me thumbs up, class. Very nice. Very nice. Clear. Okay. Now I'm going to explain you a very good kind of a concept today. The another concept. Do you all know what is meant by floating and sinking? Any idea? Any idea, class? Please, please, uh, like, uh, start, st st like, start commenting, class. What is mean by floating? What is mean by sinking? What is floating and what is sinking, class? Who's going to tell me? Please, start commenting. Start commenting, class. What is mean by floating? How anything floats and how anything gets sink? Any idea? Yes, light waves get sink. Very nice. Light waves get sink. 
isn't it are you sure or the heavy weights can sink if i talk about paper and a lemon then what will sink paper or lemon tell me paper or lemon what will sink paper or lemon lemon will sink definitely because lemon is more in weight and paper as it is lighter in weight it floats on the surface of water isn't it yes if i talk about iron nail and pen then who will sink first iron nail or pen who will sink first iron nail yes because iron nail has a much weight as compared to the pen okay so i'll show you a one experiment class which i have made by myself okay then i'll tell you like how to make it by your own see can you see what's here is actually with me all of you please see here what i'm carrying with me any idea kids That's please stop stop commenting and look at the screen and see Class, what please look at the screen all of you please look at the screen this is a bottle containing water in it and can you see like what i have put inside of it this is a paper clips okay and you can see here that the paper clips are attached to a one kind of a cap that's it paper clip is attached to a one kind of a cap okay and i have put some of the nuts along with the paper clip can you see class okay and this is a bottle with water okay so do you all want to see magic here raise your hand who wants to see the magic here everybody wants to see magic very nice okay okay now you all have to count with me okay nice see see class abra kadabra Ooh, abracadabra! Done. Is it interesting or not? Is it interesting? See, one, two, one, two. Isn't it cool? Yes or no? Tell me, tell me, cool! Wow! See, I'm doing it once again. Wow! One, two, again. Okay. So anyone can answer here. Like how I'm doing this magic? Anyone can answer here? No. Should we? No. Should we ask oh. them to raise their hands and we can uh, unmute them? Okay, okay, that? okay. No issues, ma'am. No issues. You can unmute them, ma'am, one by one. It's your choice. Like who you want to get it. Yes. All right. I have asked you to unmute unmute you, Suri Haran. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I think uh, it is because magnet. Okay, it's because of the magnet, as you are saying. Okay, but ma'am, I have not put any kind of a magnet in it. I'll show you here. Okay. No magnet is here. Nothing. It's in. It's all in front of you. Okay. Anyone else? At least you have tried, ma'am. Thank you. Anyone else? I'm doing it once again. One. Two wants to answer. You can you can put your your hands up. I'll unmute you. Rianj, Ganika, Krishna, Siddhi, they all have raised hand, ma'am. You can unmute them. Rianj, do you want to answer? I've asked you to unmute yourself. You want to answer the question? Yes. Tell me. Please do without pen. Okay, okay, fine. See, I'm doing it with my fingers. One, two. Nanda, you can you can unmute yourself and three, answer. Three, four. Okay. So, uh, anyone here wants to do with me? I'm transferring my magic power to you. Okay. 
See, so ma'am, anyone from your side now, you can spotlight them. And I'm transferring my magic power to him. And then like he will do along with me like on the screen. All right. All right. Okay. Who wants to haunt, who wants to do it? Mayuk, you want to do it? All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I'm transferring my magic power to him. Okay. Done. Please raise your hand like this. And clap. Done. Okay. Fine. So the way I am moving my fingers now, so I have now transferred my magic power to you. So let's see. Like, are you able to do now? Do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are also doing again. Yes. Wow. Done. Anyone wants to, anyone wants to answer like how I'm doing it? Plus, it has a very good science behind it. You all will be amazed after knowing this. Anyone who wants to answer, you can also write your answers in the comment box. My comment box is opened at by my side. I'm seeing it from here. You all can answer there. Okay. So see, class, I'm, I'm now revealing my answer here. You can also make this model at your home, but how? See what I'm doing. Right now, you can see, all of you, please listen. Right now, you can see that the bottle cap along with the clips, na, it's floating on the surface of water. Why it's floating? Because there is air inside it, which makes it light in weight. That is why it, it is floating on the surface of water. Isn't it? Thumbs up. Isn't it, class? Yes? Okay. But you know, I'm not doing any magic here. I'm simply pressing the bottle from the side, which so basically through which the water gets filled inside of the cap, which makes it heavy and it sinks down. See, pressing the bottle and it sinks down. Releasing the bottle and it's again floating up. Pressing the bottle, the water gets filled inside the cap and it sinks down. Clear to all? Clap now. Clear to all class? Very nice, very nice. So this is a model for scuba diver. Basically how scuba diver, you know, it goes inside of the water and then it, and, and then it comes up. So you can also make this model at your home. But how? Take a, this kind of a bottle, take a pen cap and to the pen cap, attach paper clips in this way. See, see, in this way, you have to attach the paper clips along with the uh, pen cap and put it inside of the bottle filled with water and then tightly close the lid and enjoy. Done class? Done to all? Very nice. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you the another experiment now. Do you all want to see? You all want to see? So one or two experiments I am doing here, then the another one we will perform together. Okay. So class, if you want to perform with me now, uh, go fast and ask your mother to give you a jar, some ice cubes, warm water, and uh, matchstick we need, but make sure to do under your parent supervision. Okay? Go fast. I have a jar with me. I have some ice cubes with me. I'm having a warm water with me. And the matchstick. Okay. Do you want to see and mince? I like I mean to like I mean to say, like, do you all want to make clouds in this jar? You all want to make clouds? Okay. Anyone can answer like how basically clouds made. Clouds kese bante koi answer dega? Kese bante clouds? You must all have, you know, studied in your books that what is the uh, like process behind the formation of the clouds. Condensation. Very nice. Amazing. So condensation is the process through which clouds meet. Okay. So we are going to make clouds here in front of us using these material. Okay. I need a jar. I need some ice cubes. A glass of water, which is not boiling water. It's just a warm water. Matchstick in this way. Okay. 
So all of you, first of all, please uh, pay attention here. Till then, your mother or your father will take the material for you. Okay? See, this is the jar with me. I'm putting the warm water inside of my jar. And this is my lid. And on the lid glass, I'm going to put some of the ice cubes. Okay. Clear? This is the warm water inside the jar. And these are the ice cubes basically, which I have put on the lid. So basically class, now you can see that if the water is warm here, I'm using a matchstick basically to create the water vapors or the smoky thing inside. So this is the matchstick here. Wait. So can you see that how the smokes get mixed with the water vapor, which is because of the warm water inside see now after some time you can see that the smoke here is actually mixing up with the water vapors of the warm water which actually condenses these ice cubes and you can see the formation of the clouds inside of your jar if you all have the material with you then you can perform this activity Else, you can write up the material in a pen, like with the help of a pen and a paper, and you can perform it later on. Okay, class. So can anyway, so can anyone tell me here, like why I have used the matchstick here? Anyone can answer? Like why I have used the matchstick here? For smoke. Yes, for smoke. Okay. So class, once again, I'm repeating this experiment. See, I have used the jar. Okay. And inside of the jar, I have put some warm water. And on the lid of the jar, you can see that I have placed ice cubes on it. Okay. I have placed ice cubes on my top. Right. And after and after this you have to light up a matchstick and immediately you have to put that light up matchstick inside of the jar basically okay so that smoke that is coming from your matchstick now it get mixed with the water vapor of this like of this warm water so once the water vapor and the smoke they combine together now so it will actually you know get cooled down because of the ice which is on the top of my lid. So that gets condenses and forms water droplet. So that's how our clouds will form. Okay. So I hope you all of you now got to know about like how clouds form. Show me thumbs up class. Thumbs up everybody. Very nice. Amazing to see such a beautiful answers from you class. I think most of them have actually attempted it and have done it. I can I can see a few of them doing it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm also seeing here. Like many of the like screens are open in front of me and I they are performing. Yeah, Saibri, Dadidi, Sharma, very good, huh? Very nice, ma'am. So how they are performing? Nice. Arna was also able to produce some cloud. Arna Sethi. Can you show us? Nice. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Good all of you. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay. So if anybody is not with the material, then you can observe the activity here and later on you can perform. Okay. Nice. The class, now moving to our next activity. Do you all want to make lava lamp? Anyone of you heard about this word? Lava lamp? Whosoever has heard about it, please tell me what is it? What is lava lamp? 
Write your answers. What is lava lamp? Can we unmute a few people? Yes, Navyanshi. Yes, Navyanshi, do you want to answer? You can okay. unmute yourself. Yes. Ma'am, a lava lamp is basically a lamp that consists of different chemicals reacting to one another. Okay, very nice. Anything else you have seen in lava lamp? Ma'am, it can Let's also see. be in. Ma'am, it can yes, also yes. be in various different colors also. Okay, but you know, like at home, we are not available with so much of chemicals, right? So, yeah. is it possible to make lava lamp at home? Yes, ma'am, it is. How? Ma are you with the material? Me. Which yeah, I have to... Have to. Very nice, very nice. So, class, what material we need for the lava lamp? I'm telling you here, if anybody is still with not, like, is still not with the material, please go fast and gather all the material. I'm telling you, we need a glass... We need mustard oil, any food color, or you can also have, you know, any kind of an antacid tablet. Okay? Go oh, fast, fast, collect it. So, Lodi, ma'am, give me a minute, okay? Sure. Meanwhile, Aisha, do you want to answer? We need uh, any kind of the antacid tablet, or you can also have Eno, if they're like, you know, I think it's uh, easily available at home. We need oil, water. Or any food color, if they have. They can use uh, turmeric also? Uh, yes, ma'am. Agar aap log ke paas food color nahi hai, you can get a, get some few, few I mean, a tablespoon of turmeric. Thoda hi chahiye. See, class, uh, actually you must have seen that our, uh, our parents or, or our elders, basically, they used to have daisin at home. So, ask your mother, father if they have daisin. That's a kind of an antacid tablet. So here, as we are using antacid words many times now, so any one of you know like what is mean by antacids? Anyone? Any idea about this? Like what is mean by antacid? As we are going to perform the activity, but still not if we are not aware about the words we are using here, then I think it's not of any use, isn't it? So, any one of you know what is meant by antacids? It's a medicine for digestion, relief, pain, okay, decrease acidity. Very nice, very nice. You know, like the, uh, like, well, like sometimes now after eating so much food, after eating so oily food, or you can say spicy food, our stomach produces acid. Okay, it produces acid in so much quantity now. That will actually, you know, the, like gives us a pain to our stomach. Okay. So, to neutralize the effect of acidity, to neutralize the effect of acid in our stomach, we use what? Antacids. Clear? Clear to all? So, to neutralize or to decrease the effect of acids produced in our stomach, we use antacids. Clear, class? Nice. Very nice. Okay. So, are you all with the material? Can we now start with it? Jyoti ma'am, uh, just a little uh, intervention. I am getting messages that few of them are not able to listen to what, what we are saying. Jisko bhi audio nahi aara hai, jisko bhi awaz nahi aari hai, please look at mic icon on your phone. It will be on left bottom left corner. Aap us pe click karenge, join by audio, phone audio, by internet or by Wi-Fi. Then only you will be able to, you will be able to listen to us. Hope that helps. Ma'am, please continue. Yes, I'm repeating the items class. We need a glass. We need water. We need a half cup of oil. Mustard oil or any edible vegetable oil will work. We need antacid tablets. Clear? And obviously, we need a spoon to mix. Okay. So, can I now start with this class? Show me thumbs up class. Okay, are you all ready to do the fun experiments? Very nice. So, first of all, I'm taking some water in my glass. All of you, please pay attention here. I'm taking water here. Okay. Add water in the glass. glass. 
I'm having red food color with me. So I'm putting little of the red food color into my water. Mix it well. Mix it well, everybody. I'm performing with you all, class. Add water and little of the food color in the water and mix it well. After this, we need to take oil. Put oil in the glass of water. Mix it. And wait for two minutes. Let it get settled. Okay, so class, can you see here that after adding the oil, the oil is still on the top of your water? Isn't it? All of you, please show me your glass over the screen. Show me your glass over the screen, class. Very nice. Very nice. So, uh, like, before starting with the experiment, so can anyone tell me here, like, why oil is here on the top of the surface? Why oil is here means you can distinctly see two layers here. Why oil is floating here? Yes, yes, Shanvi, tell me why oil is floating here. Um, um, you can also unmute them. Just click on un ask to unmute. Okay, then Shanvi. Ma'am, because oil is an insoluble liquid. Yes, oil is an insoluble. Very nice. Mayuk, you want to answer? You are raising hand. Please tell. Why oil is here on the top of the water? Mayuk, you can unmute yourself and answer the question. Ma'am, because uh, oil has density. Everything around us has density, you know? Do you know what is mean by density? Density is something class like how a one substance, you know, gets fit. Uh, like, usne apni jaga kisi jaga pe kaise bana li. That is your density. Like how a substance gets compactly fit somewhere. That is density. Okay. So, you know, oil is having a less density than water. That is why it's a, like, that is why it is floating on the surface of water. Clear? So, you so can also is, unmute. Sorry, so class, sorry. that's the perfect answer. That oil is having the less density than water. That is why it is floating on the surface of the water. Clear? Now no, our so next water step water is class. Water. What is our next step? Please listen. I'm putting my one of the anti-acid tablets into this. See. And you can clear and you can dissolve this. Dissolve this anti-acid tablet class. You need to wait for another one minute basically to get it dissolved properly. And class, after dissolving, you can see the bubbles on it. Isn't it? Are you all able to see the bubbles? Are 
after dissolving the antacid tablet class you all have to observe that why there are so much bubbles i'm putting the another tablet here santhani you got the bubbles ma'am i have given you know and it started to bubble very good anyone else got the bubbles prachi okay yeah, yeah, got. after this you need to take the light of your phone and then put it here now you can see are you all able to see are you all able to see class that's lamp class perform it here like this isn't it amazing isn't it amazing class all of you have to perform with me and you all have to show me in this way only after dissolving the antacid tablet you have to put your glass of the lava lamp on any of the torch light or you can say the flashlight of your phone then you can see the lamp here then we will discuss about the stem of this like what is the science behind it how we have made this lamp here isn't it beautiful class amazing chalo now i have to see ma'am i Show have also class. made ma'am i have also made everybody please show me ma'am i have also made very nice 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 siddhi very nice beautiful so class c so what is the science behind it what we have done here we have mixed a kind of a antacid tablet along with our water and the oil here isn't it so that antacid tablet while get mixed inside of the water na it releases carbon dioxide gas okay it releases which gas class carbon dioxide gas which actually comes up it becomes heavy and then again it sinks down after sinking down it again comes up to the surface again it goes down so this process actually is repeating one means again and again while the like while the tablet is completely dissolved here so you can see here completely class that there are so many air bubbles inside of your glass isn't it so that is only because of the carbon dioxide gas produced with the dissolved of that antacid tablet so that's how our lava lamp is formed clear to all isn't it amazing activity class yes ma'am see done done okay now let's go to our another activity um uh, like like everybody know like um, what is mean by volcano tell me tell me what are like what are volcanoes yuvraj you want to answer what is volcano what is volcanoes class volcanoes is something you can say like from which very hot you know you can say the uh, the lava comes out that is your volcano excuse isn't me isn't it yes tell me yes siddhi tell me excuse me ma'am yuvraj want to say structure like mountain where the lava flows out from it it is called volcano yes from where the lava gets flows out that is your volcano so it's a kind of a natural disaster okay uh, so it you can say a type of the hills or the mountains from where the hot lava gets erupts out that is your what 
That is your volcano. Yes, Priti, you want to answer? Please tell me. Ma'am, volcano is an opening on the Earth's crust. This helps to lava to escape. Very nice. So, all of you want to make volcanoes? Volcanic eruption, you all want to see? Are you all with the material? I'm telling the material once again to you, class. Like, what material we need to make the volcanoes eruption? We need baking soda. We need spoon, an empty glass, dish soap. So, I am, you know, class, I'm going to put the material in the comment box. You can all see from there. If you are not with the aluminium foil paper, then also it will work. So, uh, like this, I'm going to put the material here. See, you can all see the comment box, class. All of you, please go fast and take out the material. We need a glass. We need baking soda. If you are with the food color, then we need food color also. So, right now, I'm with all my material. So, let's start. No, 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 no. We don't want any, like, we are not doing any kind of a burning in this activity. Yes, Ojit, you want to speak anything? You can speak. Yes, you can use turmeric powder also. You can simply mix a little pinch of a turmeric in the water to make a yellow color. Okay? So, are you all with the material now? Can we perform our activity? That is volcanic eruption. Yes, whoso having is doubt, you can put a comment in the comment box. We need baking soda. We need a glass. We need little water. We need a food color along with the vinegar and a dish soap. Dish soap liquid is kind like. You can also use a liquid hand wash or else you can use Vim liquid dish bath. Okay? Jyoti, they are asking if there is any alternative for baking soda. Can they use Eno? Eno. I'm actually yeah. na, like, what Eno do? Like, Eno, like, it's a kind of an anti acid basically. Like, after yeah. mixing the Eno na, in the water directly, na, the bubbles out. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. It does not require any reaction. Yes. Yeah, you require baking soda only. Baking soda. Yes, because we are reacting baking soda and vinegar together to make bubbles. But yes, you know, though, like it itself forms it bubble sure. already. <laughs> so, if you don't have the ingredients or uh, with you, you can note it down. Yes, and yes. you can do it later. Class, if anybody kids, you are not with the material, you can simply observe the activity which we are performing here. You can write it down the material and you can perform it later on. You can also write it write down the steps. Then you can perform after the session. Clear to all? Yes, you can use uh, a drop of shampoo. Yes, you can use. Okay? Done? Okay. Class, make sure to use a plate because the bubbles will come out and it will actually make your working area dirty. Right? So, you have to put the glass on the plate like this. Clear? To prevent your workspace for like from dirt, you have to place your glass in this way. See here. So I have placed my glass here in this way. I have mixed, sorry, I have taken water here. 
I am going to mix one tablespoon of baking soda in my glass containing water. Mix baking soda. Add little bit of dishwash in this way. Okay. Class three to four drops will work. You have to mix water along with the baking soda and dishwasher soap. Mix it well, class. Jyoti, uh, they are also asking if they can use lemon instead of vinegar. Is it possible? Yes, yes. You can use lemon, class. But the lemon quantity we need in the larger amount, class, make sure. To make lava, to make the volcanic er uh, eruption, we need lemon juice in the large quantity. Okay? I'm going to add a little bit of food color also. Okay, so are you all done till this step? I'm repeating the process that I have taken a glass. In the glass, I have put water. Into the water, I have mixed baking soda and dishwasher soap along with the food color. Okay, like this. So basically, I have, ha like I have added the food color just to give the color to my bubbles which are going to be come out. Clear? Yes, you can use baking powder also. Now, I'm going to put vinegar inside of this. All of you, please observe here. Please observe here, class. After putting vinegar, can anyone tell me like what is going to be happen here? Raise your hand if anybody knows the answer for this. After adding the vinegar, like what will happen here? Yes. Keithna, you want to answer? Advik wants to. I'm unmuting. Yes, yes. Advik, you can answer. Ma'am, it's going to come, uh, blast. It's going to blast. Okay. Fine. Anything, uh, anything else? Yes. Arya, Arya, you want to answer? Advik's friend, you can answer. Tell me. Um, It's going to erupt bubbles. Yes, it will going to make bubbles. Like, like then bubbles of what? Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's perform. I'm putting vinegar. See. Wow. After putting vinegar, can you see the bubbles coming out? Just like the lava is erupting. Isn't it? Can you see? Isn't it amazing, class? Can you see the bubbles here? I just want an answer here. Like, what is this bubbles are basically of? See, that's how the lava comes out. So, the amount of bubbles formed now is basically depends upon like how much quantity of baking soda and vinegar you are using. Okay. So, now we are going to discuss the answers for this. All of you, please show me your activity. Yes, very nice, Angelica. Very nice. Beautiful. Very nice. You all are performing very good class. Adarsh, you haven't used, uh, you know, more of baking soda and vinegar. That is why your bubbles are still inside of the glass. And you have actually took uh, like a very narrow glass. Now. That is why the bubbles are not able to come out. Arushi, your bubbles are still inside the glass. Very nice, Ankriti, Shiroshi, very good. Okay, so see the gas which is coming out, the bubbles which are coming out of or like, or like out from this glass, it is because of which gas? Anyone wants to answer? Please raise your hands, class. Please raise your hands. 
This is what, yes, yes, Devraj, please answer this. Ma'am, because of carbon dioxide gas. Yes, because of the carbon dioxide gas. Very nice, very nice. Anyone else wants to answer like why we have used dishwash soap here? Anyone wants to answer? Anyone knows this? Like why I have seen the baking soda and vinegar, whenever they are reacting together, they will perform, they will actually release the carbon dioxide gas. Isn't it? You must have seen in your carbonated drinks also. While you're shaking your carbonated drinks, a fizz will come out. That is because of what? Because of the carbonate, because of the release of the carbon dioxide, isn't it? But what is the reason behind here that I have used an additional ingredient that is dishwasher soap? Anyone can answer here? That why I have used the dishwasher soap here to make my bubbles. Anyone else? Yuvraj, you want to answer? You can unmute yourself. Yes, yes tell me. Yuvraj, unmute yourself first. Ma'am, I have unmuted me. Ma'am, because we can get bubbles from it. Yes, bubbles, bubbles we can, uh, we can, no, we can see after adding, like after reacting our baking soda and vinegar together. Plus, we like like the the reason behind adding the dishwasher soap here is you know is because so that uh, to like to make our bubbles at the one place so that our uh, our eruption activity will get you know at a one place it will be more beautiful so that it will get compact and the bubbles will rise up and eruption will be better. Okay. So that is why for the collapsing activity now, for the collapsing of our bubbles, we have used what? We have used dishwasher soap. Clear to all? Jyoti, Angelica wants to answer. Yes, Angelica, Angelica. you can answer. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, I want to say something else. Uh, that uh, Like if you have citric acid into baking soda, ma'am, that will also perform the same thing, right? Yes, that will also perform the same thing. But why we are using vinegar here? Because if we use citric acid or something now, so that will, you know, will harm you. That will... No, ma'am. Uh, because... I, I have used citric acid and ma'am, uh, it was uh, better than like uh, doing with... Yes, that. yes. Any acid, when it will work with a base now, it gets neutralized. So you can use any of the asset, but as we are using vinegar here, because it is easily available to everyone. Okay, uh, okay that is why we are using vinegar here. You can use any of the asset. So if I ask you like what else you could use instead of vinegar and citric acid, anything else? Citric acid is present in what? Citric uh, acid is uh, present in lemon? In lemon, lemon. In citrus lemon. fruits in lemon. Okay, so if I actually use lemon juice instead of the vinegar, then also I will get what? The bubbles out of the, mm -hmm. uh, my like when I actually mix the baking soda and any kind of an acid together. Okay. Clear class? Yes. Clear? Clear to all? Yes. Any kind, like any answer, any any query you want class, you want me to answer? Yes, Dheeran, please. Yes, Dheeran, you can unmute yourself. Ma'am, but uh, what was the use of aluminum foil and scissors here? See, like, see, aluminum foil, I think, is not with everybody. Aluminum foil is just for, like, you have to cover the surface with the aluminum foil paper. Have to make a hole so that the bubbles, the amount of bubbles which is coming out of it, na, that will not, you know, uh, like, make your workspace dirty. That is why I have asked you for the aluminium foil paper just to cover the area. That's it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Done? Sai Done? You can Everybody? ask your question. Uh, Judy, Sai Saipreet want to ask a question. Yes. Ma'am, we can also uh, use acetate acid, which is also called vinegar, to perform uh, instead of citric acid. Instead of which acid? Please repeat once again. Ma'am, citric acid. Yes, 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 you can use. That is what I have told you. That citric acid is present in like these kinds of the citrus fruits. So you can also use uh, citric acid. Okay. Done, everybody? Okay. Now, 
can we move forward to our next experiment? Are you all ready? What we have learned till now? We have learned about the concept of float and sink. We have learned about the reaction of baking soda and vinegar together. We have learned about like how condensation happens. Means how you can form clouds in the jar. And we have also learned about how lava lamp will form. Okay. How the CO2 gas bubbles will take, will comes up, will goes down. Okay. Clear to all about these concepts. Please raise your hand class. Is it? Like the activities which we have done till now. I hope it's clear to all. Isn't it? Okay. Nice. Very nice class. Very nice. Now. Now we are going to perform the another activity. Okay. Class. Is it possible like uh, to separate? Like if you mix the pepper and salt together. Is it possible to separate the salt and pepper? Is it possible? No, no, yes, doubt, no, maybe. So what, so these kinds of answer I'm getting here. Yes, some, some, like some kids are saying yes and some are saying no. If yes, then how, how it could be possible to separate the salt from the pepper? <coughs> answer please, answer. How it Navyanshi, could be possible? Navyanshi, answer. Yeah, ma'am. It I think it's possible because of the liquid soap solution that we have made. How how it could be possible with the help of liquid soap like soap solution? Ma'am, I think uh, because that if we pour us a little bit of pepper and salt onto a plate and then mix it and then we dip our finger with the soapy solution, then if we touch it, I think we are able to separate. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, you know, uh, like. Nice answer. So anyone else? Anyone else? But that's Adrian. not possible, you know, because salt is a kind of a soluble substance. It gets soluble in the water or any kind of but a liquid you take. Yeah, I've told this answer because I've tried it with glitter and it worked. So okay, very nice, very nice. Anyone else? Anyone wants to answer? Adrit wants to answer the yes, question. Yes, 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 ma'am. Adrit, you can unmute yourself. Salt, salt will dissolve and water and pepper will float. So that way we can separate both of them. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's perform. Okay, like we need a paper plate or any plate will work. Okay, and we need to put some pepper and salt like into our plate. Okay, class. Mix pepper and salt. See, I have mixed salt and pepper into my plate like this. Okay. Now, I need a balloon also. Class, I need a balloon also. Everybody, whosoever is not with the balloon, please go and take a one balloon. Okay, I'm going to blow a balloon. C class. I have a balloon with me. I have an inflated balloon with me. And in a paper plate or in any plate, you can take a little mixture of salt and pepper together. Done? Have you taken? Done class? All of you done? Very nice. Beautiful. Okay. Now, C. How to separate the salt and pepper with the help of this balloon? I'm going to show you one magic here. See, we all know that when we rub the balloon to our head, then what will happen? The charge from the hair 
will get transferred to this neutral balloon yes or no yes or no the balloon will get will actually become negatively charged isn't it because the electrons from our hair get transferred to this balloon yes or no class kids right right now my balloon is negatively charged my balloon is negatively charged because the electrons from my hairs get attached themselves to the surface of the balloon see this is what so this process is known as what class who is going to tell me while transferring the charge from my hair to the balloon this process is known as what this is static electricity very nice and very nice answers i am getting here this is static electricity so while rubbing the balloon hair on my head now if i you can see class can you see so all of the paper get attracted towards my balloon isn't it you all can see while putting the balloon on this the paper get attracts themselves to the balloon see isn't it isn't it beautiful class you just have to simply rub the balloon on your hair and then keep the balloon onto your paper plate and you can see the paper get separate from the ball and the paper get attracts towards this balloon yes or no is it happening class nice very nice very nice very nice very nice i am seeing here that many of you many of you are performing beautiful class beautiful very nice very nice you can see here that only the salt is left with me most of the paper is already on the surface of this balloon okay now but class so i think this is the kind of the material which is like which is easily available at home for everybody okay now class i just want to tell you the science behind it like what we have done here okay see uh, can anyone answer me like why only the pepper get attracts why not the salt why the only the pepper get attracts themselves to the balloon not the salt uh, i am yes. unmuting arpita sharma arpita do you want to answer Yes, Arpita. Please tell me. Uh, paper is um positively charged. That's why the paper is positively charged. Very nice. Very nice. Yes, the banko. Please answer. Uh, when the uh salt is negatively charged and the paper is positively charged, that's why the paper gets attracted. how you can see see like say that the salt is negatively charged uh, ma'am because uh, when we do this experiment the salt doesn't attract uh, the balloon doesn't attract the salt that's why okay fine okay okay yes another one please answer chandramitra you want to answer okay go ahead ma'am it is because salt uh, a uh, much more weighter than pepper pepper is very light and it have negative energy so it is attracted towards the balloon very nice very nice beautifully answer here because pepper is lighter than salt class pepper is lighter in weight than salt that is why the pepper get attracted towards the uh, balloon so as you can see here that the charge from your hair get transferred to the balloon then the balloon will yes. become negatively charged isn't it Yes, ma'am. For something to get attracted, it must be what oppositely charged. Yes. So my balloon is negatively charged here, and my paper is neutral or positively charged. That is why it is getting attracted towards what 
Palu. Balloon. Clear? Clear to all? Yes. So this is the very simplest way. So we are here studying about which process, which phenomenon? Static electricity. Clear to all? So we have studied here about the static electricity. Clear to all class? Jyoti, we have got one interesting question. If I think the Besh is answer, uh, qu uh, questioning if we can use plastic spoon. Yes, we can also use and, plastic spoon. And yes, woolen clothes. Yes, 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 woolen clothes. You must have seen in the winter's class, uh, like in the winter, like when we are actually rushed towards the blanket, and we used to take blankets in this way, in a like in a in a you can say in a very one go. Then you can see a little spark. That is because of what static electricity. And when you rub any kind of a glass rod onto your head, and then keeping that glass rod on your woolen cloth or on your woolen thread, then you can see the dancing of the woolen thread because it get attracted towards the negatively charged plastic spoon or the glass rod. So you can perform this experiment with the number of things. With a glass rod, with a plastic spoon, you can also use it with, uh, you can say, your woolen thread. Clear to all? Jyoti, we have one more query from Sipu yes. Jarma. I think she wants to ask. Ma'am, can, Ma can you use evaporation? Ma'am, can you use evaporation process to separate black pepper and salt? That's a kind of a different thing. Yes, that's a kind of the separation technique. So, but here we are learning about a kind of a static electricity. Okay. Like if we want to separate the water from the, like, so, sorry, the salt from the water. So that topic we actually cover in our topic, we can say separation technique. So we are with many of the separation techniques, like evaporation is one of the techniques. Means once, like one, like if we want to get the salt from the sea, then only the evaporation will help us there. Okay, that's the kind of separation technique. But here we are like, we, like I'm actually making you clear about the static electricity. Clear? Clear to all? Class, do you have paper clips with you? Do you have paper clips with you, class? No? You don't have paper clips with you? Any one of you have paper clips with you? You can reply. The paper clips are these kind, like these kinds of clips, which I have used in my one of my experiments. A few of them have have it. Few of them. Have. Okay, so class, I'm showing you another last experiment to you. Then we will discuss something about robotics. Okay. Just give me a minute, class. Give it. Who all are going to do this experiment again at home and show it to the to your friends? You Raj, you're going to do it. Siddhi, you're not going to do it. Who else? Advik, you already have a friend with you. <laughs> he's your friend. Tell us he's your friend. You can unmute yourself. Ma'am, I'm his brother. Oh, nice. What is your name? Abhijit, ma'am. Very good. Okay, who, who else? Ayan will do it. Miganku will also do it, right, Miganku? Okay, uh, class, I'm here. Class, now I'm going to introduce you with a very good scientific concept here. So that is very, actually, this is going to be very interesting. You must have seen, like, I don't think so, like, you have seen it all. Is it the secret one? Yes, we can say it's a kind of magic. Everybody wants to uh, 
see that secret message. Uh, secret? They want. They probably want to send secret messages to their friends. They are messaging from very long time. They want to see that secret message trick. The secret message trick. Okay, 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 okay. That secret message. Trick. Fine, fine. We'll perform. <laughs> Trisha already knows that trick, right, Trisha? Yes, we'll be doing secret message trick after this. Okay, so class here, like I'm going to show you like how paper clip will float. See, I have I'm having a bowl with me. I'm adding a little water to my bowl. Now you can see I have a paper clip with me. Is it possible that the paper clip will float in or like on the surface of water? Is it possible? Obviously not because paper clip is what? It's heavy in weight and it sinks down in the water. You can see. Okay. But what will happen? Actually, I have made a stand of this paper clip in this way. I'm going to put like I need a little water more. Okay, I'm going to put my paper clip onto the surface of this stand and then very gently I'm going to place it on the surface in this way. Oh, can you see that my paper clip is floating now? Earlier it got like it got sinks down, but right now it is floating on the surface of water. How you have to try? Simply take a paper clip and put it inside of the water. You can see that the paper will the like means this paper clip will get sinks down. But when you put this paper clip with the help of this stand, which I have made using one of the paper clips. Then you can see that my paper clip is clearly floating on the surface of water. Isn't such amazing thing, class? See, it is floating on the surface of water. Can anyone answer here that why earlier it gets sinks down, but now it is floating on the surface of water? Anyone here can answer me? Lakshya, unmute yourself and answer. Lakshya. Please answer me, class. Why it's now floating on the surface of water? Okay, Dhiran, you can answer. Unmute yourself. Ma'am, I think it's because of the gravity. Because when the thing was light, it was taking much time. But now the thing is much heavier, so it Okay, okay. Anyone else? Anyone else wants to answer me? Everybody is answering like because of the up thrust. See, up thrust is something when uh, we can say that help us to float. That's a kind of an another thing. But you know, like, uh, see, the paper clip is floating on the surface of water because uh, have you like have you ever heard about the word surface tension? Have you ever heard about the word surface tension class? No. See, surface tension is something when two things creates a like uh, when the water creates a film over it, creates a film over it. So that is why my paper clip is floating on the surface of the film of that water, that layer, that 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 thin film of that water. That is why my paper clip is floating. You want to see the magic? See, if I take dishwash soap with me, I'm taking a little drop of it. Class, please observe. Kids, please observe. I'm taking a drop of it and putting that drop onto the surface and you can see that my paper clip will go down. See, because I have actually, what I have done, I have broke down the surface tension of that water film. That is why the paper clip now gets sinks down. So that's how 
we actually introduce the term what surface tension clear to all now i think everybody is very much excited to do sir to do secret message isn't it okay take a paper class take a paper for the secret message everybody please take a paper we need baking soda we need lemon or vinegar see i have taken a paper with me i have taken a paper with me i am making a solution of baking soda and we need earbud also if you all are with the earbud see i have make i have made a solution of baking soda see i have mixed mixed baking soda in the water i have made solution of baking soda now i am with a earbud you can ask your mother father to give you a earbud are you all with the paper with you are you all with the paper and the solution of baking soda class they are asking what can they use instead of baking soda in so ah i am telling them ma'am baking soda here will act as a base class now dip your this earbud into the solution of the baking soda write something here like i am writing viva here okay but it is not clear or you can see visible to all you all have to write your message here i have written mine okay now you can use lemon or vinegar i am using lemon here or else you can also use vinegar with the help of spoon simply or from the other side of your earbud you can dip your earbud into the vinegar and spread it over it here the baking soda and vinegar are reacting together or you can use turmeric solution also class you can also use turmeric solution to spread it over it then you can see the indicators means i will tell you the concept firstly i am telling you you have to dip the one side of the earbud into the solution of your baking soda you have to write something on your paper with the help of that earbud then from the other side you have to take the solution of turmeric you have to simply put the turmeric on your message then you can see here actually the pan is too high that is why it is getting dry very much is it visible to you all it's showing me very very little actually v i v a viva is written on my sheet this is because 
because turmeric here is acting as an indicator indicators are those class which help you to identify whether you have applied on your sheet is your acidic content or your basic content so that will get react together and whatever you have written on your sheet with the help of the baking soda it will get for like uh, pop up on the top of your sheet because of the adding of the vinegar or your turmeric so here vinegar and turmeric will act as your indicators so class indicators are those basically which help you to identify like whether whatever you are using is a acidic content or a basic content clear to all azra has done it beautifully i am going to spotlight her yes ma'am yes ma'am azra can you show it on the screen yes ma'am everyone can see right azra has written azra and imam very nice azra very nice Anyone else want to show it? No, Vyanshi. Vyanshi want to show it. Can you see? Very nice, very nice. So now, ma'am, can I introduce then to a very beautiful, uh, we can say, the uh, like software of uh, AI? Yeah, sure, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, yeah, no, Vyanshi. Mom, I wanted to say something. I'm not showing it, but it didn't work for me. Please, uh, ma'am, please spotlight her. I'm not able to find her. We've done it. Okay. Uh, we have we are done. We have done it. Yeah, yeah no, she... It's not able to see. It's not visible. Jyoti, ma'am, can you see? She is showcasing her sheet. I wrote it on the first line, but it's not visible. Uh, some of them have done so. I am sad. <laughs> it's just a plain bare sheet. No, I Vyanshi, you, I uh, you yeah. haven't used, you know, baking soda paste very nicely. That must be Mama the reason. Used, Mama used plenty baking soda. Navyan should do it once again. Maybe. Have you, maybe like, like what you have used? Vinegar or uh, your uh, turmeric? Mama, I've used vinegar. Like, please use turmeric also. After the session, na, you can try with the lemon. You can try with the, uh, like, with the turmeric. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I'll try it. So now class let's let's move on. Let's move on. Class, do you know what is what like what is AI? I want to like share a screen with you just simply to show you something like what is the like what is what is AI simply? Robotics is what? Like you are actually making your task easy. With some humanoid robot or a toy robot, isn't it? Isn't it? Robotics is basically for that only. And if I talk about the AI class, then what is what is mean by AI? AI is a kind of in class artificial intelligence, isn't it? It's a kind of a science you can say. It's a kind of a computer science you can say, which actually focused on creating systems that are capable of of you know of perform of performing various tasks that require. Human intelligence, isn't it? That is AI. You know, our future kids or our futures or basically our everything is based is is AI based nowadays. Like like you have to create a picture of the burger. Let's suppose you are eating a very juicy burger, then you will also like, like you will actually take the help of the AI to make it. Like you can say, uh, like if I want to say, like what is the objective of the AI? AI is something class which analyzes the large data sets very quickly and very accurately. 
and which helps us to take decision process in various fields like much you can say class in the healthcare field in the finance field in the logistic field so ai like, like nowadays is very much useful to us it's uh, like like it makes our time consuming task very easy it actually leads to increased efficiency it's you can say it's a kind of a freeing humans to focus on more creative and strategic activities so that's the kind of the ai so class now i'm going to share you like i'm going to share my screen and will show you a small software that is a teachable machine okay so in the teachable machine na i'm going to show you a small thing then after that means after the session you can try it on your computer screens okay okay class you have to go to the google and write there you have to write about the teachable machine okay by clicking on the very first option of the teachable machine you have to click there and you have to go to the image project right and you have to by going to the image project class you have to upload or you have to you know simply open your web camera you have to take the pictures i am sharing my screen you guide me how to do it want to learn something new please please stop it please so oh, tell me i'm right teachable machine Just teachable, teachable. Yes, 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 yes. That, that, yes, that first one. Machine with Google dot. With no, Google no, no, dot no, 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 no. Top one, the top one. Yes, yes, simple. The top. Yes, like this first bar. Teachable machine, like this. Okay, and all right. Where okay. Now get let's started. Yes, get started. Class, you can see that how AI is actually working here. Ma'am, uh, go to the image project. Right. Standard image model. Click it here. Okay. Class, now see here is a screen which is open. Or like, well, like it's. I think it's clear to all of you. Here, the two of the classes are showing here. You can add more class also. the class one ma'am le let's suppose uh, the um, like uh, edit this with saloni let's suppose ma'am's name is saloni okay ma'am write saloni right okay open your web camera hold to record and it will actually take your some pictures in a in a microsecond only okay i think we are kind Train model will not work, ma'am. Go down. Now we have to go to another class. Actually, now the webcam will only work here right now because just to show them. Now you can add, ma'am, mobile like any of the topic, and you can take another pictures from there. So I've given it name Jyoti because it's Jyoti ma'am's name, and I'm uploading some other picture. Another, yes, some another pictures here. Let's upload Monday's session picture. You want some more pictures? No, so. now train model class now we have to click on on the train model okay see okay. class after training the model na ai is actually preparing our data okay so let's suppose if you add your pictures in the class one and you are uploading the picture of your mobile phone in the another class so when you take your mobile phone near the camera na the ai will show you 100% means you are actually showing him what mobile phone but what if if you are taking your picture near the uh, webcam instead of uh, your mobile phone the ai will not recognize you so that's how ai will actually distinguishing between you and your mobile phone and it will actually giving you the accurate data of like what you are showing it to them so that will work more better if you actually use your webcam or you will actually you know 
that is why na ma'am uh, like screen is showing error here because we are not able to you know open our web camera because you all are doing uh, like like the things on the screen that is why we are not able to perform it here class you can also later on try this uh, after the session ma'am you will not be able to do because now we use the web, like we need webcam here just oh, to show okay. all right and so they what, all are doing... what what kind of uh, in i mean what will they get out of training the model ma'am they like yes like from this model now from this website like which i have told them about the teachable machine they just learn that how ai will help them to differentiate among the simple things like if they are uploading the pictures of themselves and if they are uploading the picture of let's suppose a pencil file phone so ai will actually you know get them separate like if i put my mobile phone in front of them and i am clicking on my picture so ai will not recognize because aap oh. wo clearly na it will shows that that yes you are not 100% correct because i am showing you the result for the file phone and you are showing okay okay so just it's a kind of a tool basically to learn about it So I think everybody has uh, understood the concept, and they will go and try at home. Yes. After this, they can. I think it is workable on mobile as well, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They can. They can. They can do. Just Should to I get stop? about the like how the image project will work, how AI will collect the data at the one side, how you can upload different projects or different pictures. They can explore that. So great. That is a great tool, actually. Yes. I am also going to use it. Who all yes, ma'am. It's it? very nice. It's very nice. Give a thumbs up. Who all? Who all are going to use it? Yeah, show me thumbs up. Who all will be going to use this? Show me thumbs up. Harshad is going to use it. Very nice. Very Life nice. Life is going to use it. Very nice. Okay. So, so Lori ma'am, we are done with our most of the experiment. All right, great. So, uh, I think we are done with the class. I am now going to announce two of the winners of this session who are going to get the gifts. Are you ready, all of you? Should I announce the name? So, let me tell you, all of you have performed very well, and fifty of you, we have noted down the names. I have the names with me. See, we have noted down the names, and we are you are going to get get the certificates soon. we'll uh, get in touch with you tomorrow and we'll share the certificates with you and two of them who have who have won the gift prizes surprise gifts are navyanshi and yuvraj are they are they here navyanshi i'm unmuting you and yuvraj i'm here ma'am Yuvraj Dhawan is also here. Yuvraj Dhawan and Navyanshi, you both have won the surprise gift. You will get it soon. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'm giving you. I'm putting a spotlight on you. Just give me one minute, ah. Huh? Navyanshi, just let me put a spotlight on you as well. Yeah. So, have you guys learned something from this class? Yes, yeah, ma'am. Ma a lot of. A lot of um, experiments and a thing or two about robotics also. Very nice. We want to thank you to Jyoti ma'am. Yes ma'am. Thank you. Ma thank you Jyoti ma'am. You're ma welcome, class. It's it's, it's a class. it's a very nice session interacting with you all. Thank you so much, Coin. Thank you so ma much for performing with me. Ma'am, actually, it's because of you only that we are uh, we are we are able to achieve this much. Yes, volcano and. And smoke. So, which experiment you find the best? You found the best. Volcano, volcano eruptions. Is it it lava lamp? Ma'am, I was just going to say that the lava lamp and the volcanic eruption are the best. Ma'am, the oh. smoking and the lava eruptions. Okay, what about that magic scuba diver one? Ma'am, it is. Amazing. I was not even able to find it. Part. How you do it? <laughs> Okay, you all can perform it later on after the class also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you know STEM will help you to learn better things to get on the hands-on experience and to you know take yourself to the real life applications. Don't be just stick to the books. 
okay all right thank you all of you to join uh, for joining the session it's thank you for your times thank you ma'am thank bye bye you. thank Check you class say goodbye bye -bye. to ma'am in the comment bye -bye. section bye kids thank you so much jyoti for joining and sharing your wisdom with the kids thank you so much and bye -bye. we'll be sharing the recording with all of you very soon so you can actually run through the experiments again and do it once again and we you i am waiting to see you guys on friday for financial literacy class we are going to have a lot of fun there also bye bye everyone bye jyoti have a nice day